Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm not really a lover of um, modern art in the sense of kind of uh, a pile of clothes or you know these installations because I don't think that they express skill and creativity. However, I do like abstract art at times and my hubby, he is an artist, he doesn't do abstract or fine art as such, uh, he does quite detailed paintings ordinarily. However, he was experimenting with some nibs and some ink and he just sort of messed around with a piece of paper and just tried spraying different techniques and I really, really liked the end result and so uh, literally off the wall I have taken this off the wall sort of painting that wasn't really intended for anything and I just want to use it as an example because there are parallels in music as well and so I don't particularly enjoy listening to really really abstract music such as um, you know, the various John Cage, uh, is it 4 minutes 33 seconds that uh, where the music is just the sounds passing by, somebody coughing, somebody opening a sweep, sweet wrapper, an ambulance going past. I just don't think that's really, I take his point, but I don't think there's a great skill in it. I have enjoyed playing his John Cage um, for prepared piano, where the, the a grand piano has sort of got um a guide sheet for where to place all these sort of washers and erasers and screws and things into the strings and then when you play the keyboard because bear in mind the piano is a percussion instrument it becomes kind of a percussive like an Indian gamelan sound and I really did enjoy playing that I did feel a little bit sorry for my audience but a rent a crowd going on there just like when I was a student um, but I enjoy playing it. I think there's sometimes a place for playing it. However, because just like abstract art, which kind of creates emotion and guides your eye around the canvas, I think there is a sort of um, impressionist music, isn't there? Which sl slightly sounds edgy and weird at times but I really love doing that and I really just want to encourage you to just try and embrace some new styles, some new techniques. I like playing classical, for example the classical piano, you know if you're going to play piano I think you've got to play a Haydn sonata, he was the father of sonata wasn't he? So I think you've got to sort of enter into the repertoire that is appropriate and, uh, you know, Mozart sonata and so on. Uh, I don't enjoy playing Beethoven sonatas, am I allowed to say that? That's something I've never really pursued as such. Um, I don't dislike it, it's just I'm not absolutely massively drawn to playing Beethoven. But then, I really, really do love playing like an obscure, wacky sort of piece and I particularly am thinking, at the moment I'm playing this Messi en Prelude, La Colombe, and I would, it's the dove, and I, I would heartily recommend that you just have a listen to it, it's just so beautiful, and the dissonant chord at the end is strangely ethereal, it's so beautiful, absolutely love that, it's written on three staves, because it's got kind of your melody, you've got this bell, sort of melody and then it sort of moves off into sort of quickly moving fluttering chords really so that's really nice and I just think if you're playing an exam selection often in the C pieces we've got kind of the jazzy modern one and I really do suggest that you try this slightly strange wacky modern one I do think it's a bit of a treat for the examiners um, they must hear the jazzy ones all the time somehow and I think as well it shows that you've got this willingness to embrace a new style, try a new style. I remember years and years and years ago there was a grade one piece where it uh, indicated for the performer to use your fist 
um, just sort of bash vaguely in a couple of places. And I absolutely begged my students at the time, please, please, will you take this piece? Please, this is the only chance you are ever going to have to kind of misuse the exam piano, which um, in our exam centre, we all particularly dislike the exam piano. Uh, so please, this is your one chance to legitimately mistreat the exam piano. And nobody did, I was so disappointed. Well, it's a shame, I think it's a really great opportunity to just try new things. And just like the artwork creates emotions and you guide your eye around the canvas, even though there's not particular recognisable form to it. I, I do really like um, that style. I don't know why I like the artwork that it was just like an experimental ink sort of trial. It reminds me sort of um, of kind of Gerald Scarf or Ronald Searle. Um, I think I've got the names right. And I find their artwork quite disturbing, really. And I think that's the point, isn't it? I, don't, I wouldn't say that I like it, whereas I do like this one. It's got kind of a, a strange, spacey feel to it somehow. And, and I love the expression and the, the bleed of the ink against the nibs. And I think that's what the music does as well. And in, in the flute, I particularly like playing French flute music, especially the modern French flute music. And like the Debussy, the Syrinx is, um, it's just a super piece to play uh, and to listen to. It's amazing. I think it depends how far down the rabbit hole you want to go, really. My daughter played this piece, Density 21.5, for flute by Varese. And um, it uses the flute in a percussive sense, as well as being rather wacky. You tap the keys in a percussive way. Uh, she played that at a couple of festivals, and it got very mixed results. I think one of the adjudicators just didn't get it at all. And because music's subjective... I think they made quite inappropriate comments. They just hadn't got what it was supposed to be. And then the very same piece in a different festival got absolutely raving reviews. So, you know, it's, it's a bit like Marmite, isn't it? You either love it or you hate it. But I think it's the sort of thing that, even if this isn't your thing that you'd listen to, it's great fun to just have a go and have a play. And it breaks all the boundaries of what you expect. You know, when you're playing... A Mozart sonata, they are beautiful. Of course they are beautiful. But you kind of know what to expect. That's the whole thing about classical form, isn't it? You've got that symmetry and balance and grace. Um, and even with Baroque music, I, I think it, it depends. I love playing Baroque flute as well. You know, when you're thinking you're stepping into the era of the transverse flute um, and you're just tapping into that Baroque era. I love playing Telemann Baroque flute. And if you're playing keyboard, I think you've got to, at least some point in your life, attempt some Bach, because he's the absolute godfather of keyboard music. And they are amazing. They're so complicated. But they're predictable, in a sense. I mean, not easy. You can't predict the notes. But you know where the piece is going. You know what it's going to be doing. Whereas the modern abstract music, there's no way of guessing what's coming next. And I just really love that kind of partnership of art and music where we have like impressionist art and then we have the Debussy impressionist music as well we have the really wacky abstract art and then we have the really really bizarre um, abstract music and I'm, I'm not sure I like it quite that far down the rabbit hole but you know just dip your toes in the water a little bit uh, and I really do recommend that you just have a go, you try something strange and see what you think. Thanks for listening. Bye.